Uh, this continues to be a really big problem. First, though, LAPD making an arrest, a juvenile now in custody, but it's not a break in the case that many wanted because they're still looking for the two stolen Frenchies. Meantime, another investigation going on, this one by the L.A. County Sheriff's Department this late hour after yet another bulldog is stolen. This one is an English bulldog, and his owner is, is well, as you can imagine, this guy is heartbroken. He's just devastated. Watch. You know, I mean, I, I, when you start thinking like that, you start getting, you know, a little bit emotional, but... Yeah, he's a kid, my baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all you, you just want him back. That's it. Heartbroken and in tears, Moses is the latest dog owner to have his bulldog stolen. This time, it's an English bulldog, Charlie, stolen while he and Moses are at an ATM last Thursday. There, there is again. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Now callers are phoning in tips as the search is on to find Charlie, a three-year-old bulldog who's a bit of a celebrity here in East L.A. Been seen riding in the sidecar of a motorcycle with Moses at the wheel. They're both inseparable. Look at this. Charlie even has his own clothes to wear, from a Rams jersey to a Halloween costume. Charlie's even on the back of this bowling shirt. Uh, I've taken um, uh, just where you wouldn't think dogs are allowed, you know, and all I ever get is just, uh, um, you know, how cute. You know that dog is, you know, and Charlie's a ham for that stuff. It's just the latest in a series of bulldogs stolen right from their owners. Last week, Fox 11 News showed you the story of two French bulldogs, Rhino and Blue Sky, both stolen at gunpoint from their owners on L.A. 6th Street Bridge. But now there's a break. LAPD has made an arrest. A 15-year-old is in custody, but there is no sign of the two Frenchies. The dogs are still missing. I was really disappointed because my main concern has always been the dogs. You know, that's my boy. It's it's not him. You know, it's, if they would have caught the dogs but not him, I would have been happy. That as bulldogs are now the targeted breed by street thieves, even though the SPCA says the stolen dogs are often sold for far much less than you might expect. The real problem with someone who's just grabbing your dog off the street is they don't care if they get that amount of money, right? They might just sell it for a quick 500, a quick thousand, something like that. Um, so that can be a, a real issue for these dogs. Now, live, she's talking about a safety issue for these dogs, saying oftentimes these these creeps sell these dogs real fast. They want to get rid of the evidence, so to speak, so they just take whatever they can get. No questions asked to get rid of the dog. But out here on the streets, the hope is that the two Frenchies from the 6th Street Bridge and now Charlie, East L.A., they're found, brought back home very soon, safe and sound. The owners, you know, the dogs are expensive, but to the owners, the dogs are priceless. As they say, they, they just want their babies back soon. For now, we're live here in Downey. Back to West L.A. we go.